Nicole and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite lip colors for the spring and I am beyond excited for this spring. I've been in some sort of like brown and mauve lips only kind of rut. I'm sure everybody's been in some sort of rut this past you know winter and fall so I'm excited to kind of switch it up a little bit. I do have quite a few nudes to show you guys but um, you really can't go wrong with a nude. But I also have a couple of bright colors to show you too, AKA my lips right now. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be swatching everything for you guys on my lips and on my hand. I'm also going to be talking about why I love the product so much. So I'm just gonna jump into the video. But if you would like to see more videos from me, more beauty related videos or tutorials, I do have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash G, And you can check out my channel there. Um, but I'm gonna jump into it now. So if you guys wanna see my favorite lip colors for the spring, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first color that I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually a lip liner and it is by Lancome and I'm kind of nervous to say the name to you guys because I've googled how to say the name, I've looked at the pronunciations and I just can't find it anywhere so we know I'm going to say it wrong so it's going to be linked in the bottom bar if you guys want to check it out. We, we just can't figure it out today so I'm just going to say it how I think it's said which I know is completely wrong so let's just do it. So it is by Lancome and it is the color Rich Chatagin. Rich Chattening. So, we're gonna just call it that right now. But, I just really enjoy this lip liner a lot. First of all, because it's it's a little bit dry, but it's not drying on the lips. So, like, I feel like if I were to smudge my hand across my face like this, and really try and smudge my lip liner off, it would not move. Like, I don't think that it would budge. I think that it would just stay right in place. Um, I've kind of tested this color out to see what the wearing time is and I stayed on all night like it was just magical so I really enjoy this lip color a lot and like I said it's it's dry but not drying and it's very matte so if you did want to over dry your lips it's perfect to do that with it's great for lip liner or if you just want to wear it alone like I have been doing lately um, it is just perfection So the next color I want to talk to you guys about is my NARS Bangkok Matte Lipstick and I am just obsessed with this. I did go right over my Lancome lip liner which I just showed you in the previous clip. I love the two combined together. It is one of my new favorite nude colors. I like this one on its own. It's more of like a cinnamony brown tone but if you want to kind of lighten things up a little bit and add more of like kind of a pink, more pink undertone, I like to apply my NARS Bangkok over it. And what I like about it is that it's actually matte. A lot of matte lipsticks that I've been seeing lately, they say that they're matte, but they have some sort of sheen to it or something. Do you guys know what I mean? Like when something says matte and it has like a bit of like a cream, like shine to it. I don't know what it, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not actually matte. Like this is actually matte, so you can overdraw your lips and you can get away with it. But the two combined together are just awesome. This is what it looks like by itself right here. Um, but yeah, I've been loving this color as a nude, and don't worry, I will be showing you guys some brighter colors too. I just wanted to get through a couple nudes first, um, get through the boring stuff, and then we'll get to the fun stuff. So, um, yeah, anyways, I'm loving this color, and it is the perfect nude color for summertime. Up next, we have Makeup Forever's Rogue Artist Intense Lipsticks, and this is Matte 6. Ugh. This is Matte 6, and what I love about it is that it's on the verge of being red but it's not quite red it's kind of like a watermelon pink color and I think it's just the perfect color for springtime especially if you're going out at night um, it's like vampy but it's still kind of springy at the same time so the color payoff is so vibrant like this is after one swatch right here like just like whoop and it just left this beautiful pigmented swatch it is just amazing I love the Ugh, what is that? Why don't you guys tell me I have lipstick on my teeth? Come on now. And I'm really impressed with the consistency of it. It's a matte, but it's also kind of creamy at the same time. It does have the slightest bit of sheen to it. It's not completely matte, but it's like an inch. It's a little, a little bit kind of creamy. So it's not really dry on the lips. It's a very intense color. Probably my favorite out of the whole collection that I'm showing you guys right now um, of my favorite spring lipsticks. I am just obsessed with this guy and I'll probably be wearing it a lot this spring and a lot this summer. So definitely probably my favorite one for the spring right here. My next favorite is Carez's Mango Lip Butter and this is the color Frost Pink. And I, what I love about this, I don't necessarily I'm not obsessed with it on its own. On its own, it's kind of like a sheer, um, like, 
you know, kind of like a sheer pink color. But what I like to do with this is I like to pop it right in the center of my lip to kind of give myself a little pop. It makes my lips look larger. I use this in one of my other tutorials and it really just makes such a big difference. So I like to kind of line my lips with like a matte color or I like to put like a matte lipstick on. And then I'll pop this right in the center. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And you guys can see the difference. Like already... Like I'm just popping this right in the center and already, I don't know if you guys can see it, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but your lips look so large, so I, so larger, so much larger. Um, so I just pop it right in the center and then I pop it kind of right up here. Like this here on my lips is kind of an effect that you can't get with a gloss. Sometimes you put a little gloss in the center of your lips to make, make it look larger. What I don't like about a gloss is that your hair gets stuck to it all the time like when the wind blows your hair is gonna get stuck to it so I hate that fact about gloss I guess I guess I'm not a gloss girl guys I guess this is finally coming out I'm not a gloss girl like I love gloss I love the way that it looks but I won't reach for it like I have a, a lot of glosses but I just don't reach for them so this is why I like to give myself a little bit of shimmer with on my lips and it's just perfect for me so if you guys aren't gloss girls either and you want a little bit of shine on your lips this is just perfect for you here is NARS Pure Matte Lipstick, I believe it's called, and this is in the color Terra de Fue. I love this color. I'll admit, when I first saw it, I didn't necessarily, like, it didn't scream spring, spring color to me, but um, it kind of reminded me of, like, cherries? I don't know. It's kind of like the perfect, like, cherry color, so I... I just think that you can never outwear red, so I just wanted to add this one in here because red is good for any season. It's good for winter, it's good for summer, it's good for spring, it's good for any time. What I like about this one is it's nice and blue based so your teeth look a lot whiter. It's a matte as well, I don't know, I'm a matte craze kind of person, but if you wanted to make it unmatte, um, you can add some Carrez lip butter or you can add like some sort of gloss to it, but I don't know, I've been matte crazed lately, I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah, I just love this color so much. Like I said, it doesn't scream spring to me but it screams red is awesome and it goes with any season to me so I just had to add this one in here so definitely love this lip color it lasts all night it's very pigmented and it's just beautiful so love this guy so there we have some of my favorite products for the spring I hope you guys enjoyed this video these products will be linked down below if you want to add any to your collection and if you want to see more videos from me check out my youtube channel at youtube.com slash Nicole G thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all next time bye